Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. So today you may have seen that we have got the November monthly bonus round punch card that's available for basically the next two weeks to complete. This is going to be worth 2,000 Microsoft Rewards points, and this is another US-only punch card, I believe, you guys. Sorry to all of my international friends about this. Uh, yeah, feel free to use the support link in the uh, description of the video if you want to uh, let Microsoft know that you want to see more of these punch cards in your country and let them know what your country is, I would recommend. So this is going to be a multiple task uh, punch card like it has been in the last few months. The first task is to run a Bing search on any device on five different days. So you can do that here on your Xbox using the, the Edge browser or on your web browser, however you would like to do that. So just five different searches on five different days. Task number two is to complete the daily set on three separate days. So I'll just show you here how to do that. If you click on that link, you can go to the reward site. And the daily set is this section at the top of these three different things. The first one's a just a link to click on. The second one is a quiz that you have to take. And then the third one is to fill out the daily poll. So it should take you, you know, about five minutes or less to do that uh, on each of the three days you have to do it on. So let's see, the third task is to earn three achievements, and we'll take care of that in uh, just a couple minutes. The fourth task is to basically click here to claim the 500 points, the first 500 points. And then once you click the link, you can choose to donate some of your points if you wish to do that. And then once you're finished with that, you can just hit B and go back over. You should have a check mark next to those first 500 points. Task five is to complete this quiz that's available within the Bing app here on Xbox One. So click there, and it'll open up the Bing app on your Xbox, and you'll have to complete a quiz. So anyway, go ahead and click Start Playing, and I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through all of my answers here. You can slow the video down if you want to, uh, you know, see which ones I got right and which ones I got wrong. It's not really critical that you get all of these right. You just need to complete the quiz in order to unlock these 50 points. So that's all you gotta do, just make sure you answer every question. So as soon as you see that great job message, uh, you should be done with your quiz. So you can click open Microsoft Rewards. And when we get back to the punch card, we should have a check mark next to that task. So there we go, we've completed number five. The last step is to click to claim the prizes. You'll get five free entries into the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for Life sweepstakes. So we can do that once we've finished all of the other activities. For now, we're gonna go ahead and work on those three achievements that we need to grab. I'm going to point out the uh, same game I pointed out yesterday in a separate video. This is a game that's freely available during the month of November on the Games with Gold program, so you should be able to find this. Just search for Aragami. So like I said yesterday, I had another punch card guide that came out for the Trevor Project. I'm gonna link to that in the description. You'll be able to see how to unlock the first two achievements in this game. We're gonna work on the next three, basically by just repeating the first chapter of the game or the first level of the game a couple of times. So uh, just to review, you're gonna hit the right bumper button to do a shadow leap and leap through this first grate here. And what we're gonna try and do this time is make sure that we defeat all of the enemies in a stealth kill fashion. So, uh, so we're gonna try and get two achievements here on this first playthrough and then we'll do one more playthrough. So again, just hitting right bumper to do the shadow leap to jump through different areas or across different areas like this right here. We're about to jump across the water. And then again, right bumper to leap up to the ledge. And then you just walk down through this hole. And this is where the character collects his sword. You can hold down B to skip any of the cutscenes. And basically we're just sort of following along with this little fairy or whatever it is. She'll show you the right path to go through. Okay, so here's our first stealth kill. Again, we're trying to stealth kill every enemy. So if this one's easy, just walk up behind him, press X and that'll take care of him. We've got two in this next section, and we wanna be sure that we crouch as much as possible during this. So we're gonna hit the left trigger and get up close to this pillar that's on our right side. It's providing a shadow on top of us to kind of hide us from the two guards that are in this area. You wanna make sure you get both of these guards. 
Now you'll see I actually mess up right here. I'm gonna just on purpose leave this in so that you know what to do in case you do mess up and the enemies become aware of you. So if they if they do become aware and turn around and you get the message that you just got a kill and not a stealth kill, you can pause and go to restart checkpoint like I did just there. And, uh, and that option will take you back just before you got spotted, basically, to the last checkpoint. And this will not void the achievement, so it, it works out well for this. So make sure you're always getting the stealth kill, or I think in one situation we get the aerial kill, so you'll see that in a minute. And just a little bit of alert from, from one of the guards is okay. Like you saw that left guard sort of became aware of me, but not completely. So that, that works out fine. Just try and use your left trigger to crouch a bunch. Uh, stay in the shadows and don't get spotted. Make sure that people have your back, have their backs turned when you approach them. So we're just waiting for this guard on the right to turn his back to us so that we can approach behind him and sneak up on him. And holding down the left trigger really keeps them from, from hearing you quite a bit. So that, that works really in your favor. All right, so we've got to take care of one more guard in this section. Try to stay out of the light, stay in the shadows if you can. Now you can also use the the shadow leap to get up close to enemies, so you'll see me doing that uh, in some of the playthrough a little bit later on here. But for now I'm just kind of approaching them, holding down the left trigger to get the stealth kill. All right, so those two have been taken care of. So we'll hit the right bumper to jump through the first grate and then look up and right bumper again to jump through the second grate. The aerial kill here, just using X, does count as a stealth kill. So that that is fine. We've got another guard coming up in this section, so you wanna make sure that he has his back turned to you. And he does kind of move around in this room. So just, just be cautious as you're approaching. Make sure you're approaching him when his back is turned. And press X to get the stealth kill. I got spotted a time in this section, so here's a here's a clean run here where I'm moving up onto this right platform, making sure that this guard is not looking at me. Use your right stick to make sure that the camera is uh, is giving you a good vantage of which direction the the guard is facing in. Make sure he's got his back towards you when you approach. Again, still holding down the left trigger, so we get the stealth kill. All right, now we've got three more guards in this section. Two, they're kind of walking around in the middle. They're having a conversation when you first come into this area. So what seems to work well is if you move back outside of this room and then get into the shadows here, then you can wait for their conversation to finish. Uh, you'll be able to see the two in the middle on, on the left side of the screen here and then one further on at the gate. So we're waiting for those two closer ones to finish their conversation. All right, they're done now, and they've started to move away from each other. So we're going to stay in the shadows here just for a second, kind of move the camera around so that we can see this guy on the right. And he's got his back to us now, so we can keep crouching with the left trigger, get up close to him, and press X to take him out and get the stealth kill. All right, now we're going to move over and take care of this other guy. So you can see me targeting the shadow over there. I'm trying to shadow leap to get closer to him quickly. All right, and we've got one more cart guard to take care of up here. So we'll just move around stealthily on the left side and shadow leap to the last shadow by this pillar. And then as long as you're crouching as you as you move around here, you should be able to take him out with a stealth kill as well. Again, if you messed up and you just saw a kill on any of those, you know, just make sure you restart to the last checkpoint or restart the chapter, and then you'll be able to uh, to give it another shot. Now, when you finish with this section, you should hopefully get two achievements here for uh, never being detected and for everyone being killed. So you'll have the no witnesses uh, for, for getting rid of all of the threats. And then here's the second achievement, just the wind. That's the one for never getting detected. 
And if you missed either of those, uh, you know, just replay the chapter. So you'll hit B. We're actually going to replay the chapter here to grab one more achievement. This one's a little bit easier to do. And then uh, hit over to the left using the left bumper to go to chapter one and then press A to play it again. So we're going to repeat chapter one here one more time and grab our fifth achievement in the game, third achievement that you've seen in this video. Again, if you're looking for the other two, check out that, uh, that other video that's linked in the description. So this part, trying to do the no-kill method here, sort of the pacifist method. So what you're going to do with this first enemy, we're not going to stealth kill him, we're just going to leave, basically. So we're trying to avoid everybody, not have them see us, and we're not trying to kill them. So very similar to the last time in terms of where we're going, but we're just trying to stay hidden and, and actually not kill anybody, not get in any conflict at all. So you're going to see me using the shadow leap quite a bit here, where we're leaping from shadow to shadow, and that's just using the right bumper button. And make sure that you've got your, your little dot that's in the middle of the screen. Point that at a shadow somewhere that's nearby and then you should be able to shadow leap to that next spot. So it's a great way to move through the level without, without being seen. So we're trying to get past the two guards here and get into that last room. Looking to see where this guard on my right is because I'm closest to him. So his back is turned now, so we should be clear to leap into this next section. And leaping back up through the top grade again. Now this might be possibly the trickiest part of this. So you have to be sure that this guy doesn't see you and you have to not kill him. So we don't want to do an aerial kill here. What we'd like to do is get down behind that bush over at the, the left side. But you actually have to drop down first. So I would recommend holding down the left trigger so that you're crouching. And then kind of just very gently walk off the edge there. Once you're down on the ground and still crouching, shadow leap to behind the, the red bush. And he may become a little bit aware of you, but probably not entirely aware of you, like, like what happened to me there. Uh, again, watch out for this guard in this, uh, in this building here. And you can shadow leap straight outside. And in this last section, we, we're trying to avoid everybody again. So we're going to try and go around the left side since there are less guards over in this path. So I'm just leaping kind of from shadow to shadow here to get all the way down next to the last guard. And we're still just holding down the left trigger so that he doesn't hear us sneaking past. And there we go. We've made it through using the pacifist method where, where we didn't kill anyone. So we should get our third achievement right here as soon as the, the level assessment pops up. So if you see the no enemies killed there, that means you've got it. And then we're just waiting for the achievement to pop, and there it is. So that's our third achievement that we needed for this punch card guide for the November bonus round. So that is pretty much it. You should see three out of three here. So if you see the three out of three, you're in good shape. Uh, the other pieces are basically, you know, running your Bing searches on the five different days, doing three of the daily sets, and then coming back here to claim those prizes. And I believe the last time we had one of these punch cards, you actually did have to click here to claim the prizes and then redeem them. So it's kind of a two-step process right here. So make sure you do that once you've you finish with all the activities here so that you do get entered into the sweepstakes for uh, Game Pass Ultimate for Life, because that would be really cool to win, right? And let us know if you win that. That would be awesome if somebody from the channel here won that. I hope that worked out well for everybody and take care. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.